What's up, everybody? It's Andrew coming back at you with another episode, and I'll be doing a game recap for you all of week five matchup between the Jags and the Bills. The Jags win their second game in London. They move to three and two, and they are tied for first in the AFC South division with the Indianapolis Colts, who they who they will be playing in week six. I'll be doing a game preview for that, so look out for that. But we beat the Bills 25-20. to 20. This was a roller coaster game. I must say the Jaguars' defense looked lights out again. Mike Caldwell, our defensive coordinator, man, what a hell of a game plan. Came in here, uh, they executed. You know, they really had one drive kind of late. I believe it was in the fourth quarter uh, right before the game was over where they gave up a touchdown pass to Josh Allen and kind of looked like they were, you know, not having a good series there. But the defense, for the most part, was lights out in this game. Um, You know, we managed to limit a Bills offense that had been scoring uh, 30-plus points over the past three games to 20 points. So that was really impressive. Darius Williams had another lights out game with an interception that was essentially a game changer for the the Jaguars kind of helped us get the upper hand and then come away with the eventual win and uh, that was really 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 impressive the play calling looked really good in this game looked like Doug Peterson was calling the plays Uh, not a lot of screen passes if any Uh, they were allowing Trevor to really stretch out his arm to you know, go deep, throw past the chains, which was really nice to see. Uh, Travis Etienne was amazing in this game. I think uh, he just had a really excellent game there. Looking at his stats, 26 carries, 136 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Trevor had a great game as well. 25 for 37, 315 yards, one touchdown. No picks or no turnovers, so that was good. Uh, Ridley. You know, he really got going in this game, and uh, that that's what I was saying. We had to get the ball in Calvin Ridley's hands, and we did. Seven receptions, 122 yards. So really nice to see from Calvin Ridley. Looks like that connection's, you know, becoming more prevalent between him and, and, and Trevor Lawrence. So definitely want to see more of that. So uh, that was the good. Let's talk about some of the bad to start off with, the pass protection was not very good in the first half. Cam Robinson, it was his first game back, but he looked he looked bad in this game. He gave up a strip sack. Uh, you know, he gave up some plays there. So hoping that he kind of cleans it up, starts playing better because the pass pro was just not good. We couldn't really run the ball much in the first half. So, you know, the line made some adjustments there, but... We have some injuries coming out of this game with Walker Little, who was moved down to left guard as a result of Cam Robinson returning. So he is hurt. He is questionable, I believe, for for week six against the Colts. But that's not good. They may move Shatley over there uh, if they need to. But the line wasn't getting a lot of in, uh, push in, you know, internally until you know the second half. So we need to do better with the run game next week. But, um, you know, towards the end of the game there, uh, we had an onsides kick where we got lucky, (laughs) went out of bounds. Um, So, you know, we just need to be able to play better clutch football. Um, But we come away with with a win here, which was impressive. I think the game ball goes to ETN. Like I said, two touchdowns, had a just lights out second half. Zay Jones, too, you know, honorable mention there with an amazing touchdown catch in the back of the end zone, which was impressive. Uh, Just a hell of a play, came down with the ball. Ball was a little high, but, you know, I think Lawrence had to to put it up there because of the defenders. But, yeah, that was a hell of a play. Josh Allen, I forgot to mention, he had a sack in this game, and then they threw a flag. That was ridiculous, the cold roughing the passer. Uh, that was a clean hit. Josh Allen had a sack there. So, yeah, I, 
Josh Allen kind of un- honorable mention there and um, unsung hero. But yeah, ball game or um, close ball game. We come away with the win, and uh, I'm looking forward to week six. Hopefully, we can keep our foot on the gas pedal, keep moving offensively, progressing. I think you know Trevor Lawrence took a huge step in this game. So it'll be exciting to see what we can do against a banged up Colts team who's going to have a backup quarterback in there, Gardner Minshew, Minshew Magic. Hopefully we prevent that from happening. This will be a home game, so we'll be playing the Colts uh, at home in Duval County at Everbank Field. And we've managed to you know win at home pretty consistently. I don't think Indy's won since 2014 uh, at home or um, – in our in our home rather so hopefully we can keep up a momentum there but you guys let me know how do you feel about this game you think it was a good game or do you think it was a fluke you think the jags still need to make some more improvements let me know curious to hear your thoughts leave me a comment on the youtube video or podcast episode Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to support my work smash that like button if you enjoyed this video it always helps me with the youtube algorithm always nice Uh, talking to you guys and uh, sharing thoughts on the Jags. You guys have a good one. Stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy. Go Jags, and I'll see you next time. Duval! What's up, everybody? It's Andrew from the Jaguar Podcast. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, as always. And remember, this is a podcast, so you can find this pretty much wherever you find podcasts. Subscribe to it. Go Jags, and I'll see you next time.